Fuck it, let's record. Why not? I'm not uploading this anyway, right? Anyway. Let me get some shit put aside. Hello, YouTubes. Okay. Silent Hill. I played the first one. I played the second one. I played the third one. I played the fourth one. I gave up after that. Some people still want that feeling of the original Silent Hill, and maybe Silent Hill 2. With that said, Simulacrum. Alright. I'm not going to dick around too much, but I will kill this music. And we're going to get into this, and we're going to have ourselves a dandy time. I just uh, checked this. I was right. This is Unity. Put it all to full. Why not? Well, no. That's that's actually probably okay right there. Subtitles. Yes. Game manual. Okay. Well, I'm using a controller. It's not showing anything for the control. I guess I'll work out the controls as I go. Cool. Cool. With that said, let's jump in. Let's get some simulacrum done. Riddle difficulty. Normal. Fewer hints, that's fine. Wheel! Wheel! That's the wheel deal right there. Let's uh, let's figure out these controls. Not very smart to drown your worries in sound waves. I'm probably going to be deaf by the, before I'm 50 thanks to that thing. It's ringing in my ears. We'll turn it off. What's going on outside? Sorry, no lion in there. Hardy, har, har. Hang on, I gotta fix something real quick. Because it was set up so I could not see people's messages when they chat. That would have been funny. What's going on in this, uh... What's going on in this everything? Let's see what all these controls do. Whoa, okay. So, why? I have no map of this place. Why is the map button... X is the do something. B is the... B doesn't do anything. X doesn't do anything. Oh, here we go. Map, memos, options, quick game. Okay. B is subtract. What is this? <laughs> oh, she's just like pulling a Sonic right there. I like her boots. What kind of video games we got here? I only use the TV for playing games. Me too. I'm reading Motivational Curve. My reading Motivational Curve is weird. I can hardly bring myself to read a book, but when I do, I devour it in half half in no time. That's a pretty picture. One of my first attempts at aquarel, or watercolors, as the lame kids say. I shouldn't sleep now as much as I'd love to get back to my dreams. 
So let's take a look at you here, girl. Let's see. We got a plain dress that goes uh, thigh down, a flannel shirt. That looks like net, but could just be leggings and boots, which you wear to bed, which are really good looking boots, by the way. I really like your boots. But all in all, 90s girl. The moment when you invent a character for some story and realize whomever you invent, they're always a part of your own person. The further you write, the more you unveil the truth about your most inner self unbeknownst to you. Up to that very point when all you thought you knew were comes crackling down and things will never be the same. I really need to learn how to read, and neither will you. Yeah, super deep. Abby, super deep. So her name's Abby. Abigail. I got this song stuck in my head. One I've been working on for the last few days. If only I knew someone who plays the cello or some piano, I can almost hear what it would sound like. Just, just hang on a second, you dumb cat. Do what thou wilt. But what is my true will? Okay, cat's pawing at the door. I'm not going to bother with it. That's clearly where I need to go, so the cat can just suffer. All the moments that already passed, we try to go back and make them last. Hey, I found the run button. Last man standing in desolate beauty. Sometimes I wish I could step through and roam new worlds. Keep dreaming, girl. Keep dreaming. Foreshadowing. Not as comfortable as my bed. I don't use it much. Oh. Okay. Did we just move in? My mother's stuff never looked through it. Though after I inherited the apartment, it kind of scares me. So, mom's dead. Thighs! Hey, month! Let's see what else is going on around here. Let's look at this plant. Plants are always good for a laugh. Chuck's not real. He's made of plastic, and I'm too lazy for real plants. Eh? Chuck the plant reference, huh? Don't look so sad, Chuck. I love you anyway. Well, as long as you won't claim the French article to precede your name. The plant, Chuck? I don't get it. Huh, bathroom. A uh, Silent Hill staple. I dropped my wallet down there once. That pair of tongs went straight into the trash. Okay, Silent Hill 2 reference. Water damage. Had to fill the hole in myself. That troglodyte creep next door sure was happy to see the hole in his bathroom wall. Silent Hill 4 reference. I prefer baths. I can't take my time when... Uh, I can't take my time with them without feeling too bad. Unless I think about laying in my room liquid... Yeah, laying in my own liquefying filth. That's not how baths work. But. I don't need much... Uh, I don't have much need for mirrors. I prefer to reflect upon myself in internally. A true artist. So I had a fun day. Dragon Age crashed while I was running a 64-bit OS. Those hip looks quite motherly, don't they? Rather prolific. Or prophetic. A blessing and a curse from the evolutionary and sociological standpoint. Wide hips hinder one's running a building. Bad to escape imminent danger increases dependence on others. Is it a chance to bring out the best within others, or am I doomed to rely on strong help a strong helping hand and control? Nah, hips are sexy. You go, girl. Oh, okay. Definitely a 90s girl. Who oven? No? No oven? We're not gonna look at the oven? Maybe I just watch too many movies skewing my understanding of how romance truly works. Heck, I I just want to be a princess. What does that even mean, be a princess? A princess of what? You want to rule over things and have to worry about, well, honestly, breeding. 
Strolly gets... Oh, cat's name is Strolly. Okay. It gets food better than anything I could cook myself. I'm actually a dog person, but Strolly is the only friend I've got. Yes, you do want to be princess. Yes, you do. I don't want to be a pretty princess. I want to be a tomboy girl. Speaking of which, I should go and look as why he's meowing out this time. Yeah, we'll get to it. Like Chinese much? I find fasc fascination and inspiration in exchange with foreign cultures. The sheer diversity of all the possibilities of what it means to be humans fill me with utter joy. Thusly, the indulgence in the cuisine of such restaurants as, fi as fine a culinary de delight as the Nippon Nippon right around the corner. Oh, this is Japanese food. Oh, also, I'm a lazy cook. No dead cats in here. I think that's a Silent Hill 1 reference, and now that's it. We, we've now completed the, uh, the four games that I've played. Rags are icky. Oh, and Dirty Laundry too. I'm running around in a circle just to see what she does. Like where she'll end up. What pattern she creates by running around in a circle. Clearly this is it. She runs into the kitchen, to this picture, over to the table, and then back into the kitchen. Repeat. All right, Strolly, give me a goddamn second. Radiator? Huh, what's going on with that radiator? Apparently nothing. What about this clock or outlet? Is that what she's looking at? The sockets in this country look cute. Sad fa sad faces. It always cracks me up. So you're not from America originally? Because I think America is the only one that has sad faces. Uh, ooh, picture. Fleo awego, fleo awego. I don't know. It symbolizes growth through suffering. How every tear you, sh every tear you shed in the moment of weakness will make you stronger. How the pain of the heart will force your thoughts to reconsider the world around you. Man, that's so venitas. Vain? Why not just say vain? Ooh, it's another plant. Is this Chuckette? This plant doesn't matter. We give two shits about this plant. Hey, cat. Yeah. Let's go outside, Strolly. Hey, Strolly. You want to get out? Huh? My... My doorknob's gone? What the... <gasps> okay, so that painting changed. Strolly's on the prowl. Look at that ta tail wag up and down. Oh, and she's got a picture of Strolly on the on the thingy. Was that painting always there? Wait, wasn't that the painting on the wall? How the heck did this get here? Is someone here with me? I don't know, but just in case. All right, just making sure nothing's changed in the uh, the storage room. All right, let's go ahead and look at this bullshittery. What even is this? Okay, that's trippy as fuck. Starring Andrew Carr. Andrew's Carr. Christopher A. Summer. With Olivia Steele as Abigail. Gilbert Gottfried as the beaver. Okay, well, that's a good way to start this. Yeah, I got a flash of... Holy shit, that's bright. There's a handwritten letter here. It's addressed to me. 
My dearest Abigail, the time we have spent apart is a gap of unforgivable size. It is a hole filled with longing and desire. I stare at it now, knowing that its vastness is shrinking for every word you read, but it remains great, and thus my being still aches for you. That's... awkward. Sometimes I like to jump and let myself be taken by the shadows below. Perhaps it will bring me to you, though I worry it will only separate us further. But that there needs to be a there needs to be a comma for further. But you don't start a sentence with but. I know that and yeah. You know, but I know that in due time we will be reunited. I want you to have something. Take my light. It will guide you through the blackest times and lead you back to me. Though should you wish to hide in the shadows, and there is no shame in that, for darkness can protect you from those who would wish you harm, just remember my light will always be waiting for your return. Jennifer. It's a handwritten letter here. It's addressed to me. Okay, no, it's okay. I was hoping to get something else from that. I was hoping to get a comment from her. Like, does she know who Jennifer is, or is it just some weird chick that has the hots for her? Just in boxes, doubt there's anything interesting inside them. T time to go inside them and make sure there's no, there's no dead cats, or pincers, or... I, I, I don't know. Whoa, okay, that one looks interesting. What's in this one? There's a putrid smell coming from this box. It makes me want to vomit. So vomit, let your heart be free and vomit. What's this? Hey, got a map. Well, let's start with the graph paper and then move on to not your home. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I'm I'm kind of lost. Do you know how I got here? And what even is this place? Pause for just a second. Ooh, interesting inventory. Another thing I want to adjust, I want to turn the audio up just slightly so you can hear it better, because that's really quiet. Press F to toggle. Well, that's not F. Map? Okay. Hey, it's a clock. There's a clock. There's Roman numerals on the face. Tasteful. Can't get the window open, though. It's shut tight. Okay. Um, let's start at the bottom and work our way up. Oh, she's looking at the door. Whoa, whoa, green! Green, super green. But I said I'd start at the bottom and work away. Oh, fuck. These sacred paintings we draw with sinner's oil serves as a pathway into the hollow, holy mind of God, for his sleeping consciousness is is the father of many sibling worlds, which we can divine, alter, and enter through paint. Well, okay, so this is mist, only creepier. Each color pigment shade represents control over the frequency of his divine light. I have questions. 
The most excellent primer for the manifesting is black. The color is void before and beyond life. It is death, the canvas of creation, the holy color. We must seek permission from God to use it to create. On top of the mortal primer, the greatest color of power is life, and life is red. So I like these colors so far, pretty good. It is the color of the act through which we funnel his divine light inside of us and birth his children, you. The perfect medium for such paint is blood. The raging, wait, but when blood, when blood dries, it turns brown. So, so the greatest color is brown, not red. The raging force that flows from our heart, which beats in brown fury until it rests in him. The color of emotion and outburst, ideal to break through the brown fabric of the brown plains. Some colors should be avoided, or at least used with care, not necessarily because of their corresponding emotions, but because of other devious associations. Green is deemed the color of paradise among some eastern heretics, though not among us. Here in the west, both envy and money has claimed this color. Also, an idolatrous symbol of empty value and those unworthy of worship, for the only value is your worth to scratch out God, our angel, and he is all that should and must be worshipped, for he is a lord not envious, but jealous nonetheless. So, so it's... Is God envious or is an angel envious? Our, our, our angel is envious, envious and jealous? No, jealous, which means protective of what you already have. What? 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 We abstain from blue since it is the color of sadness and melancholy, as Alan Tutorial can tell you. Weak emotions that tether us to the upper realm. How fitting, as it has also been traditional color of the weaker set. What? Men are the weaker sex? Like, I'm cool with that, but what? Stemming from the tradition as ludicrous as it is dangerous, namely that a virgin had birthed a false god without angelic intercourse, which should have taken place. Uh, okay, we're in a different religion here. This isn't Abrahamic. We would not want to relate our sacred paintings to such misguided traditions. Am I feeling sex and colors make me weak? What? What? Maybe I am. Hang on, I need to check something. Yeah, she's wearing a blue dress. She's actually wearing the two blasphemous colors. She has a blue dress and a green shirt. So, jealousy and sadness and melancholy. Locks broke. A uh, Silent Hill tradition. What's going on in here? Locks broke. Another Silent Hill tradition. In fact, much, much of the time I get scared when the lock isn't broke. Like that. I didn't want that. Also, fans and ventilation to keep shit cool. The season's keys are stolen. Spring was taken by angels. Summer was engulfed by darkness. Autumn was claimed by time. Winter follows the holy assumption. Okay. It did tell me to probably watch f to, to take notes or whatever. Uh, hang on, hang on, picture. Be gifted, gift yourself. The religions of ancient times commonly included fertility cult rituals, angel worship, and priestesses who serve the wife of God. Temples, prostitutes abound, and sexual prosperity was created out in the name of religion. Footnote. Since we have turned away from the lies of the very religion continuum counteracting the aforementioned fertility rituals, as we know they are de 
deceived. We have good reason to partake in those rituals. Some sort of missionary leaflet. Okay. Oh. Harmonica, box of matches. I'll take it. A framed portrait of me? Who the heck has painted me sleeping? At least I hope I'm sleeping. But I feel warm. Like I'm in like I'm safe, protected. Weird. Room of locks. Let's see here. Keyhole here, it's surrounded by orange jewels. Do I need to get paper and pen? Yeah, give me a sec. We got here we got red green i think was at the front yep red green blue and i guess the other ones are black because those are the four colors no orange what does orange mean it's also nice and pleasant in this room i approve Okay, locked, lock. Not so locked. So let's go to the next door. Another clock. This one has a zodiac instead of numbers. Used to be into that stuff, but me, Scorpion? Scorpio? No wonder I lost faith in it. Can't get the window open to shut tight. Hey, I'm a Scorpio. What's your problem with Scorpios? A book on the Zodiac. Libra, Scales. Virgo, the Megan. Leo, the Lion. Cancer, the Crab. Gemini, the Twins. Taurus, the Bull. Blue Diamonds. Larry, the Leprechaun. Scorpio, the Scorpion. I wouldn't have guessed that. Sagittarius, the Archer. <laughs> Lana! Okay, I think I got this. It's just basically for people who don't want to look it up on the internet. Okay. This is a hell of a thing. It's a good thing they have all these ventilation things here. Ooh, 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 all. No, 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 ice pick. Give me the ice pick. No, no, give me the ice pick. I'm sorry, give me the screwdriver. I don't really want to know what's under there. I do. I'm a glutton for gore. Oh, wait, is that a cage that's fallen there? And she gives two fucks about the cage. I would like to know what the deal is with these cages. But, oh well. No comment. Oh my god, I installed a mod and I need another mod to complete. Characters have no hair. Yeah, that that would make it pretty rough. Here's another portrait. You know, I saved already pretty... Oh, that's lens flare. What on earth? Discarded art. It looks like they were saved from a fire. What about this over here? Smart art. 
What a filthy replica of my favorite Rembrandt. It's so grunged up I cannot even make it out the father figure. I actually know the painting she's talking about. Weird. Oh! Oh! Bodies. Cool. That book on ritual killings. Sure, let's read about ritual killings. Though not confined to the ancient Celts, Irish bog bodies sometimes indicated ritual killings. One of the corpses was bound and restrained, but isn't that the same thing? But more importantly, also cut in half with one huge cut across the body. Another one was tr another one was struck once across the body with an axe and disemboweled. Both these men were failed kings or failed candidates for kingship. But our Lord sacrificed himself in such a way that for our own salvation. And not to fail as a king, but to reign above all. Yeah, that sounds pretty religious. I have, a, I have a thing here. A bronze seed. I have a bronze seed here. I also have a body. Personally, I'm not... That's not the treatment I would favor for my own remains. So you're absolutely cool that there are dead bodies just surrounding you. Like, I dig your nonchalant list. That's, pro that's, that's pretty cool. Too dark to see anything. Well, I mean, something's dripping, so we know there's something dripping inside. photo was ringing. Okay, this must be the way out because nothing else is working. So that was a hell of a thing. Crematorium. Okay. I'm also assuming that she just happens to have a marker on her to keep these uh, marks on the map. Why am I lost? Where am I? Thank you, camera. Creepy. Spooky. Spoopy. Run away! This It's too late! The skeleton is already inside of you! Okay. Hub world. Where to next? Um... We got a lot more doors to the right than to the left. So let's take a look at the left. Whoa! That's a hell of a thing. Looks like the wall is wounded. I can't get through with those bars so screwed on so tightly. Maybe I'll find something to take them out. Boy, do I have the thing for you. The one and only screwdriver. Imagine it, guys. Imagine her slowly removing screws and taking out all of the bars. She did that. That was a thing she just did. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do. Let's go inside. Hey, more dead bodies. This one looks disemboweled. I think they're giant chickens or bulls. Wait, no, they have feet. Human feet, anyway. Uh, I don't know, this one? Oh. Okay, is this a different one? Nope, same one. We were just here. Alright. Uh, this door. What are the... 
what is on these walls? Is that deliberate marking? Okay. So let's try this door. Okay, so clearly there's something we don't know, like a combination. Actually, one other question. What if I go into a door and turn right around and leave? Does that count? Yes. No. I don't know. Moving on. Broken. Okay. What are you looking at? What's down there? Oh my god. It's this old game. You guys used to play this game in Silent Hill 2, right? It's called, What the Hell is She Looking At? The game is simple. Our character, our protagonist, is looking at something. That's the hole. That's fine. But occasionally she'll look at something and it'll be like, what the hell are you looking at? Like, okay, she's looking at this door. Cool. Let's go into the door. It won't budge. The clock on the door, no numbers or needle, though. Okay. Let's go through this door. Oh, good. I can't just walk right off the edge of the platform. Right. I have questions. Do not trust the light. Oh, here we go. There's writing here. Do not trust the light. It is a lie. The only truth is darkness. So, is the red light a lie? Is the green light a lie? Well, the only thing I can turn off for now is my own light, so... Oh. Okay. Makes as much sense as anything else. Here's a silver seat. I now have a bronze and a silver. Okay. What the hell is she looking at? Oh, okay, key. There's a key inside. I can just put my arm through to reach it. Reach for the key. No! I didn't mean it. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, wait. How long has it been since I saved? Eh! And look at that. Absolutely no consequences. Huh. I am curious about something, but I want to save first. Which I think I gotta go this way for it. Really, why the, it, where are the monsters? Why is there more than one safe spot? Okay, so here's what I'm curious about. I am hungry. Should I eat extra early breakfast before I go to bed? Oh, that's right. It's morning where you are. If you're hungry, eat. So, before you go and eat, though... Stay with me long enough before I go here and turn the flashlight on while I'm in the middle. This is a great idea that could not possibly backfire. <laughs> Worth it. Oh, good times. Oh, 
Okay. And I still have the crimson key. And I guess... Oh. Okay, there should be a red spot, right, for life. There's blue for melancholy. There's green for envy. And here we go, red. So, let's give it a try. Remember that time you committed suicide with a flashlight? I do! Good times. Okay, so that's one key down. Plenty more to go. Oh. Hang on a second. I was wondering why I wasn't seeing your guys' chats in, uh, in the stream. So, that was my bad. But yeah, committing suicide via flashlight. Brilliant. Next door. Reminded the... Okay. Well, here's an important looking book. It's a children's book, a collection of fairy tales. Four hungry wolves sit beneath the sun. They wait, guarding the bridge to greener pastures. To their north, mountains loom and impale the sky. To the west, a lake of tainted water stirs. To their east, a forest lies surrounded in perpetual fog. A hiker then approaches, but not from the mountains, which is to the north. She offers the first wolves she sees a mind of shining gold. Please take this mind. That's a brain. It's a mind. It's gold. It's a gold mind. Is that a typo? The beast accepts it gratuitously and offers her safe passage. A magpie then flies in, feathers wet, landing by the wolf. It too sees first. Okay, landing by a wolf it sees first. He opens his beak to reveal a soul of gle gleaming silver. The wolf kills him and takes the soul for itself. It being the wolf. Then a family of lumberjacks brave the toll. They have only a body of bronze to offer. The wolf opposite the golden mine takes, takes it and lets them pass. Those three wolves then cross the bridge too, happily rich. An orphan approaches the last two wolves, but she has nothing to offer but company, as he is alone by now. He being the wolf? Pronouns. Yielding to, yielding to temptation, the wolf reveals to be an angel and takes her up to paradise. Okay, I have a bronze and a silver, and I'm sure there's a gold involved. Let's figure this out. Let's finally get, get some pa pen and paper going on. Okay, four hungry wolves sit beneath the sun. I only counted three. They wait, guarding a bridge to greener pastures. Okay. To the north are mountains, so... Mountains to the north, to their east a forest, okay, uh, perpetual fog, a hike approaches but not from the mountains, she offers the wolf a mind of shining gold. So a hiker is somewhere other than the north. So the Gold is south, silver to the west. How do you figure? A magpie flies in, feathers wet. So silver... Yeah, silver to the west. Gold might be east too. Maybe. I think they mentioned the orphan was from the south, so there's nothing to the south. So that leaves bronze to the north from the mountains. Family of lumberjacks braves the toll. They have a body of bronze to offer. The wolf opposite 
the golden mind takes it and lets them pass. So bronze is actually opposite. Gold south, bronze north. And then silver is probably west. And then the orphan approaches and has nothing. And the wolf turns it, the last wolf turns into an angel and is just like, fuck all y'all. I don't, I don't even know. Well, I mean, here it is. There are holes in the soil. It's slightly damp, too. I'm not going to bother until I get the gold one, the gold seed. And then we'll do all of that together. All right, next door. Ooh, lore. It's a newspaper article. We get a good drink. I like the picture of the librarian priestess thing right there. And then I ask Dr. Ashido, Ash Ashiado to explain how the discovery correlates with these apparitions. He said that Everything, both material and immaterial, has the capability of making an impression on existence. Just as a footstep can make an indenture in the sand, so can our spirit in the world. He explained that different areas own varying different tangibility factors, which the sort of softness of reality in that sometimes in those places we can leave an imprint behind. He claims they are the footprints of our souls, a shadowy echo that is but a fragment of ourselves. Interestingly, when I asked whether he, we could interact with these footprints, he warned that there, were, there are places soft enough to manifest the echoes quite considerably and that he wouldn't advise following them in such cases as they may even possess some corporeal ability. Uh, okay, don't fuck with ghosts. Got it. Why don't you just say don't fuck with ghosts? Ooh. Black. Cages being lowered into fire. Impressionism? Creepy. What is this? Are those sinks? What am I looking at? What is this contraption? A sink? I wonder where it dra the drain leads. Hey, Golden Seed! Okay, now we can fuck around with the wolf seed puzzle thing. Be at easel. Okay. Weird. So, okay. Let's, let's fuck with the seeds. I... Oh, wait, wait. I have a door left. Well, I have a door to the left. Okay, let's fuck with the seats. So, gold south, bronze north, and probably silver east, or no, west. seem to have worked. Oh look, it, it grew a ladder. If paradise is not up that ladder, I will be sorely disappointed. Oh, 
Okay. So, curtains. Whoa. That one's breathing. And no fucks were given. Are, have these been breathing this entire time? Um. Okay. A, C, B, something. Essays and some strange religion written by a child, I think. Like, how old is that child? What is this? You are here, probably. Fizz for oath now. Yad. The hell? I don't get it. Reference to Silent Hill 1 here. I can see that you're getting closer, my darling. It fills me with untold joy to know that our distance apart is but a fraction less with every step you take. I'm gonna, that's my new pickup line. It fills me with untold joy to know that our distance apart is but a fraction less with every step you take. The lyrics. But I must insist that you take care. We are not alone, you and I. Be wary of him. I won't tell you his name because that would be easy. I mean, I can at least describe him. Old man, y young man, angel. He is trapped as I am and will twist your thoughts against me to use him, you for himself. Pronouns. Do not break his chains. Jennifer. Okay. Dustbin. Dustbin. A wall of glass, too hot to touch, though its fractures make it look rather fragile. Can I not control? Oh, hey, there's that. Hey, I just learned how to do something. Testing controls. Give me a sec. Okay, where am I? Oh, I'm on the other side. Okay, so that guy went into here. So let's go into here. Get some answers. Gotta say, I wasn't expecting the outside. Okay. Hey, another clock. It's like a clock, but it has a sun and moon symbol. Can't get the window open though, it's shut tight. Moon bleeds. The moon bleeds 1982. Gonna write that down real quick. The moon bleeds 1982. Could come in handy. As far back as I think, I know this date, 1982, but could it mean more than a Ghostbusters movie? Wait, what came out in 1982? God. God, you know what I just realized? When stuff was happening in like... In like the 1960s and shit, when I was a kid, now... I'm old enough that 1982 is that to today's kids. Christ. All right. We're going to take a small break. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so far, I'm digging it. I'm digging the Silent Hill feel. No monsters yet. 
no attacks. Maybe she's a lover, not a fighter, but, um, I don't know. I expected zombies by now, or weird, crawling flesh monsters that spit acid. You know, Silent Hill shit. In any case, let's go to a quick break, and I will be right back. After these messages, we'll be right back. 